<laughs> At the top, fraction. Yes, sir. Well, hustle, guys, hustle. <laughs> Fractions. We are over LCD here is 28, 28, and 28. That goes in there four times, times three, that's 12. Four goes in there seven times, times two, that's 14. I'll take one of two answers. I will take 26 over 28 or 13 over 14. Two points. No, but congratulations. Yes, ma'am. Would they put 20, yeah, what if they put 26 over 20 and then they put 3 over 4? Ow. Uh, minus a half, and then can you please show them how to actually do that properly, okay? Alrighty. Students, if it looks like the person who you're grading really didn't even know where to start, write a note in the margin. See Miss Way, comma, really go see Miss Way, okay? Because it's important that you guys get these fractions nailed down. Okay, right here, squeeze a sponge, 130, that means this is 50, this is 115, that makes this 65, you add them up, you get 115, that makes this 65, you add these two up, 65, 49, excuse me, 46, 11 carry the 1, that's 111, that means this right here is 69, 69 and 40 is 109, take it away from 180, this, 71. This, 109. Okay, so I add this and this. This is 111. Okay. And then I take it away from 180. Okay? Now, start with... Why did you guys divide it by 2 last time? We did... Oh, the reason was last time, very good question, is that we had something where we had two equal sides, we had two equal angles. Remember equal arms, equal elbows, equal arms, equal elbows. Okay, start with five points there. Take a half point away for everyone they get wrong. Start with five. Take a half point away. Don't take points away from them. If they got it all right, it's fine. Last one, guys. If you did the videos, this should have been fairly simplistic. This, we have a pair of angles. We have a pair of angles, we have a pair of angles and a side. This is angle, angle, side, or side, angle, angle. Okay, next one. This is side, side, side. Last one. Angle, angle, side, or side, angle, angle. I'll take either. That's one point apiece. It is not ASA. It is not ASA. I'll be explaining the difference in just a moment. Okay, one point apiece, score and return. One point apiece, score and return. Oh, that's seven and a half. You would have been away. I Score and return, guys. Score and return. Oh, nine. At least I got a nine. Thank you, my guys. Thank you. 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 What? Two basic concepts. Hold up your hands like so. I can instantly tell who's not listening. Join us. Hold up your hands like so. Yoshida, Joey, Dalton, hold up your hands like so. Mr. Dalton, excuse me. Fingers together. Repeat after me. Say, whole equal. Whole equal. Parts equal. Okay, that was, uh, that was pretty much the whole lesson. Now I'm going to summarize something else and do this with me. In last class, we learned if the triangles are equal, you have three pairs of sides equal. Hold up three fingers, say three pair of sides. Three pair of sides. Now just waiting, because last two periods, I don't know why, this was insanely confusing. So I'm, I'm waiting to see if you guys can do a little bit better. Ready, say three pair of sides. Three, three pair of sides. sides. Okay. Then, when triangles are congruent, you have three pair of angles. Say three pair of angles. Three pair of angles. 
Here's the question that my last two periods had a heck of a time with. Listen, listen. How many pairs of things were congruent? Six. Three. 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 Six. 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 confused there. This is what we learned last class. If the triangles are equal, you have three pairs. Angles, three pairs, sides, a total of six congruent items. Okay, now, today is all about shortcuts. I don't want to talk over you. Today is about shortcuts. Instead of talking about all six items, we're going to talk about Four different ways where if you just have a minimal of three things equal, it forces everything else to be equal. It forces everything else into play. Those three shortcuts are, I want you to look right here, and lights please. Lights. Ready? If you have two different colors, I'm going to work in two different colors. And look up here, and I need your undivided attention, please. This will take us about five minutes. This part, anyways. You guys ready? Yeah. You guys are ready? We're ready. You guys ready? Ready. Okay, step number one. I want you to look, and through here, you're going to go through and find what I call freebies. That's things that are equal but aren't marked. Let me, there's two I want you to watch out for. I want you to watch out for vertical angles. And I want you to watch out for a reflexive side, a side that's shared. Go through this top row and with a pencil, mark congruent either vertical angles or reflexive side. So, just mark it with a pencil. Reflexive is like an apartment wall. It's shared. Uh, all I want you to do is mark them. Okay, look up here. You should have marked this. The first one we had verticals. The second one, reflexive. The third one, vertical. How many of you at least did that correct? You found the freebie. Good. Now, follow with me. The four shortcuts are these. This is how you find them. Ready? Trace with me. Do exactly what I do. Trace the hatch marks. Sweet. Hang on. Just do that. Now, when I pause, replace the blank with either the word sides or angles. We have a pair of congruent what here? Sides. Put one S. One S for a pair of sides. Now, sweep these angles. Sweep. Out loud, we have a pair of congruent angles. angles. Great. Now, sweep the middle verticals. We have another pair of congruent what? Angles. Angle. Now, the choice is... Is it a hamburger or a tail? Everybody go like this with your hands like this. Okay. This, if you have an angle and an angle, think of a hamburger patty, and you have a side squeeze between two angles, that's ASA. If it looks like this. If it looks, that's ASA. Or you have an angle, an angle, and then a tail. This one, is this side sandwiched or is it a tail? Tail. You're correct. This is angle, angle, side. Oh, angle, angle, side. Gotcha. Down the left. 
I'm going to give you a practical example next class. Surveying. Surveying of ocean, discovering oil, getting us independent of oil in the Middle East. Okay, ready? Step number two. Work with me here. Hatch mark, hatch mark, side, angle, angle, A, reflexive, side. This is side angle, side. I'll, I'll do it again. Okay, let me do it again. We have a pair of congruent sides, pair of congruent angles. You, in, you know what? Either way, we have two pairs of sides and one angle squeezed between. It's side angle side. It'd be the same, both. There is no. Okay, because the angle is squeezed between two distinct sides. It's squeezed between. Yep. Last one. We have a pair of angles. Uh huh. Then we have a pair of sides. Then we have another pair of angles. This side is squeezed between the two angles, so this last one's ASA. Students, some of you are asking, wow, this, why does anybody need to use this? Next class, I'm going to give you a practical example. We don't have time to give practical examples because I have to get you through the basics first. Okay, at the bottom, you have five. You go through yourself. Do not ask your neighbor. Determine side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, or angle, angle, side. Go. I want you working by yourself right now. Working by yourself. Do not say your answers out loud. Yes. Another pair of angles. Okay, so you have a choice. You have, you have two separate angles and then a side. Careful, careful, careful. No, no, no. Side. Is it two angles or is it a tail of one? And then A A S, not A S A. Yes, it does. <laughs> Students, I'm going to give you the answers in about 45 seconds. You should be almost done with this page. What if it doesn't have a pair of congruent sides? Then you you look for you look for um, freebies. Oh darn! I was supposed to be freezing. Okay, because you have the reflexive down the middle. Yes, ma'am. All right. Answers. Look up here. There's the answers. Look very carefully. If you can't do this, we're, we're lost. Okay, this is like learning your ABC. Yeah, I can't do it. We're going to go over it. Okay, I'm having to do so. The second one. We had a pair of vertical angles. Okay, because the side is not coming between the angles. Side to tail. All right, turn the page. Turn the page. Yeah, I can explain. Take a look up here. I'll be happy to explain all of these. This, vertical. So we have a pair of sides, then a pair of angles, then a pair of sides. This one, reflexive. We had angle, then a side, and then an angle. Here, vertical. We had a pair of angles, angles, then a side. This one, reflexive down the middle. A side, then you here was side, and then you were given the angles. That's SAS. Wait.
Okay, let me make it real big, this last one. Uh, the rest of you, turn the page, please. Turn the page. Okay, take a look here. Ready? Okay, we are given, we have a reflexive side. So we have an S. And then, Sophie, we had, those were given to us. There's an S. And then the angle sweeps were given to us. That's an A. So I thought those were like... Side, angle, side. Okay. Go to this page, please. The next very best page. Now we have one more layer here. One more layer. What you have to do, not only do you have to look for freebies, but now you have to walk through GIF, given implied freebies talk through. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ready? I'm going to start with a... I'm going to start with a super easy one. Go to four, page four. I'm actually going to start with easy and work to one a little bit harder here. Ready? We're going to walk ourselves through gift. Do you guys need a break? Yeah. Okay, fine. Stan, you have a minute break because I need your attention. So you got a minute break. What's sir? Oh, come my way, Albert, if you want me to check something. Oh, whoa, whoa, careful, careful. Hey, right, guys, what's going on? Whoa, gentlemen. Oh, my God. This way, May is the restroom. I see what you're doing. Um, not yet. Not yet. Let me, let me, because I think there's a couple of you have wrong there. Yes. The wine. What? The wine up here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of shifted. Okay, have a seat, guys. Have a seat. I shouldn't have to play referee between you guys. I'm sure they will. The phone shouldn't have been out anyways, Courtney. It's Okay, well then, ladies, come on, don't be immature. Of course they're going to give it back. It's stealing otherwise. All right, guys, I need your attention. Five, four, three, two, and one. Listen up. All righty. Thank you for your attention. Ladies, you ready? Okay, students, look up here. I'm going to do a really easy one and then a more challenging. So I'll do one from both spectrums, and then you're going to finish pages four, uh, three and four on your own. It'll take you about five to ten minutes. Look up here. I need the chit chat to stop. All right, look up here, guys. Step number one, we're going to follow GIF. We start with GIF by give given. Given! Okay, so we read and mark the given. It says AC 
bisects BCD. So I trace, do this with me, trace AC. Trace AC. Trace, I don't care what color, just trace it. B, C, D, trace and sweep. And because it's bisector, we're going to put hatch marks there. AC. AC is the knife that cuts that angle in half. Watch, guys. Cross it out. We're done. Okay, I still I have three of you that are distracting your neighbor right now by talking to him. I need you to stop, please. Okay, then the next one, B A D. We go B. Go to A. Go. Join us. D sweep and double hatch. Now here's your checklist. We're done with our given. What's implied by the given is that this is equal, so we put an A for a pair of angles, and these are equal, we put an A because we have a pair of angles. Check the word implied. Check implied. Then we do our freebies. We're looking for vertical angles, reflexive sides. Trace with me AC. And it's equal to itself because it's shared. Put an S. What do you put two hat on? You didn't make it back in time. Could be one. Yep. Yeah. Now, you ask, why is it congruent? ASA. Yes, cell phone over here. Okay? Yes, because it's a pair of angles, pair of sides, pair of angles. Okay, I want you, please, right now, I want you to finish page four and then check four. Look at each one. Go. Page four, check four. Go. Page four, check four. Go. One. Okay, students, if you are super lost right now and you want to do another one with me, come on up with your clipboards. Clipboards, paper. Okay, guys. Okay, check page four. Okay, now I'm going to walk you through GIF one more time. We're going to do number two together. Do four, check four. Um, ladies, why is the phones out? It's not. He has my phone, so I took his phone. That's unfair. No, Let's give it back. He took it to the bathroom. No, the phone's supposed to be here. Yeah, she took it. She took it. She needs to put it back. Because he took my phone. Yeah, no one okay, took I'll your phone. Okay, I'll negotiate that later, Courtney. Leave the phone over there, okay? Okay, when you're done with four, back, go back, back to three. When you're done with four, go back to three. Okay, you guys ready? It says, look, let's look at our given information. It says, given C is the midpoint of BE. So we go C is the midpoint of B to E. Now, if that's a midpoint, what two pieces are have to be equal? A, B, C, C. Yep, yep, they have to be equal. So I'm going to go like that. Those have to be equal, okay. right? Now, it's also the midpoint of A to D. So then what's equal? Okay, AC has to be equal to CD because of those midpoints. So I'm going to cross that out. We're done with the given. We did the implied by the given at the same time. Now, what's our freebies? Uh, vertical angles. We got vertical angles Wait, so going what does on implied here. Mean? Implied the fact that C is the midpoint uh -huh. gave you two equal pieces uh -huh. right. because it's the midpoint. It's implied by the midpoint. Okay. Wow. Now let's see what we have here. When I pause, say the word sides or angles. Okay. Here we have a pair of uh, sides. Here we have a pair of angles. Here we have a pair of sides. Side angles. Angle side. How do you know the order though? Yeah, because it's side angle side. The angle is squeezed between the sides. 
Okay, so what if it's angle side angle? It's not. There's only one pair of angles up there. Well, I mean, like, what is No, I want you to try it on your own. Then check. Okay. I guess. Oh, I forgot to check for the vertical angles. Whoops, my bad. But I didn't. Because I'm that amazing. Okay. Oh. Uh, no, I don't. You are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> This one, come on down. <laughs> David, can you see? Okay. Make your like life miserable. I'm gonna like. Okay, so we're going to start by walking through the given. It says BC is parallel to EF. So we trace BC. We stretch it out. Can someone stop that, please? Is parallel to EF. So that's the first thing. I, you always stretch out parallel lines. Always. Always, 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 always. Why'd you go to the A, though? Does it, because they're parallel. I always stretch out parallel lines. Okay. Just You just drag them out. It's easier for your brain to register what's going on when they're parallel. Okay, now we cross it out. Okay? Now go back, back to page three, please. Now, uh, we're also told BC and EF are congruent. So I know from here to here is actually equal from here to here. And then you cross it out. Wouldn't they be equal no matter what they're parallel? No, no. Parallel does not automatically imply congruency. Okay. Okay? Now, we're done with our given. Now, tell me, what else do you know has to be equal here? What's free and what's implied? Reflexus. So we're going to go down the middle, double hatch. We're on... Where's that? Over here. That's it. Okay. Now, parallel lines. What should you look for when you have parallel lines? Wait, do you know the alternate? Ah, yeah, all tens. Okay, now when I pause, look up here, and you're going to either say sides or angles. I have a pair of congruent... Angles. Uh, well, first we're going to start with the sides. Okay, so then we have a pair of congruent angles. angles, and then we have a pair of congruent... Sides. So why? Yes. Okay, students have a seat. Go to page three. Are you going to help with page three? Page three is easier. Yeah, have a seat. All right, students, you need two different highlighters if you can. Two different highlighters. Now, look up here. I need your attention. Five, four, it's not three, two, and one. I'm going to do one more with you. 
and then I'll give you guys another break because I know this takes a lot of brain power to listen, so I need you utterly focused right now, okay? When things start overlapping, it starts getting interesting. The first thing you want to do with overlapping shapes, ladies, let me put it real simple. The next time I see a cell phone out, it's mine for the day, okay? Thanks. When you see overlapping shapes, the first thing I like you to do is trace and pull them apart. So we have here, Jalen, have a seat, Joey. We have B-A-E, trace and pull it apart. And we have D-C-F, trace and pull it apart. Relabel everything. That's the first thing you should do. You should look for large overlapping triangles. Trace and pull them apart. All right. Ready? We're going to walk through GIF. There's a typo here, guys, so I need you to correct this typo. This should read DF. Okay, so step number one, it says BE is parallel to DF. So I'm going to go to the original and drag it out. BE is parallel to DF. And then I come down here and I drag it out as well just to kind of remind myself what they look like. Parallel. That means I have little arrow feathers going on there. There are two things you should look for when you have parallel lines. I'm going to put both of them here. Ready? Draw two little baby parallels. There's two things you should look for. One, corresponding. One's in, one's out, same side. Two, armpits of the Z. Those are the two things you should be looking for. When you see parallel lines, you should look for corresponding angles and armpits of the Z. Do the little baby examples here. Oh. Okay? All right. What else are we given? We're given... A and C are equal, so A is equal to C, and I'm going to bring it down here, cross it out. A and C are equal. And you're told A to E, that's this, is equal to A, C to F, that's this. We're done with the given. Implied by the given. Right here, if we have parallel lines, that means angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent. Now, you're going to vote. Listen carefully. This is how you vote. These angles, if they're congruent, because if you think of armpits of the Z, you're going to hold up an A. This is an A for armpits of the Z. If you think it's, cor don't say it out loud, if you think it's corresponding, you're going to hold up the C. Look at those dark blue lines. Learn to follow my instructions. Wait just a second. Ready? At the same time, A or C, go, vote. Is it armpits or is it corresponding? Everybody vote. One or the other. Okay, it is corresponding. Yes. Okay, ready? Now, how do you know the shortcuts? When I pause, say sides or angles. Look up here. Everybody at the same time. We have a pair of angles. Then we have a pair of sides. Then we have another pair of angles. The side is sandwiched between two. So this is ASA. Okay, this one, I'm not going to do it for you. What I'm going to do is get you to trace. I'd like you to trace and pull apart these two triangles. Thank <laughs> you.
Okay, ready? Walk through gifts. Walk through gifts with this and determine why those triangles are equal. Go. Wait, there that because I I don't know I just wrote it because I would have to be Students, I'm going to give you the answer in about one minute. Start working your gift. Marking um, First one is that A B? Yeah. That's A B. Okay. Okay. So we we are told A B. So here's A B is equal to C D. So hatch hatch X. How many of you at least did that? Okay. Next B D is equal to A C. Trace hatch another S. How many of you at least did that? Okay. The last one. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting. The triangles overlap right there. Notice BC and BC. It's exactly the same thing. Triple, triple, S. This is side, side, side. Yeah, yes. Angle side side of the Okay. All right. Shoot it. Stand and take another two minute break before the next part, right? Actually, see, you can't say F and D are equal. What you can say, this triangle is equal to that triangle. What's the shortcut? Not ASA. When I pause, say side triangles. Watch, you have a pair of, and then you have a pair of, another pair of. Why are the triangles equal? Okay, so if the triangles are equal, the parts are equal. Well, no, it goes like this. Side angle side, then... Triangle people. Triangle people. Seven steps. 
Okay, students, look up here, please. I had a couple people asking this question. Why the side side angle does not work? Here's an animation, guys. Side side angle doesn't work because it does not force the triangles to be equal. Because, look here, left to right, it could be like this. It doesn't force congruency. And the way I remember that is because it's no bad word spelled either way. That has about a 10 second delay on it. Someone will figure that out in a minute. No, I got it. 10 seconds. You got it. There you go. Okay, you may whisper what's mean to the other one. No bad word. It has nothing to do because it's a bad word. It's because it doesn't work. Okay? It doesn't work. It's all right. All right, students, turn to pages five and six. Go. Pages five and six. Go. Yay! Five and six. <laughs> He's saying racist. I know I'm not recording. Who are you? 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 Who are I want you guys on number page number five. Already, I want you guys to five. Hey, students, I just assigned you, listen up, I want my one, I have four computers over here, she has three, I got four one. computers, one, I want you here, 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 and here, clipboard, paper, go, two, you're at front, two, here, there, 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 or here, two, clipboard, paper, go, I win. Two, are here. Also up front. Okay. Two, I can have a group up here. Guys, there's another one. Over there. Yeah, it's okay. Are ready? Penis. 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 Yeah. 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 Penis. 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 If you want to as well, you can come up here. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Okay. Pause as needed. It says the video is unavailable. I don't think we have to do this anymore. Did you hear Dalton? So loud. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, he's so <laughs> That was super loud. Me and Cameron like fell out of our chairs for laughing so hard. They were playing it over there to, like across the room. Uh, yeah, I heard them and then they all just shot it. Let me figure out what's going on. It's just what's here. It's right there.
What do you mean it's not there? Proving triangles congruent. Part two? No, nope, that ain't it. Okay, I just linked it. Where's my videos? Okay, it says it's there. Okay, guys, here you go. Okay, follow. Hey, Brandon, do you have a piece of paper you don't want? I don't have any. I want to try to shred it with that fan. Yeah, you can. Wait. Oh, let's go. Penis. Are you just gonna let me win? Yeah. Let's go, penis. Wait, are you talking to me? Yeah, the penis game. No, I'm not playing it. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon wants to play it. I don't want to play it. Dude, I can't well, even I'm read that. What the hell? We can get away with the yelling it now, though. How much money will you give me to yell it? I don't know, I'm like <laughs> no, that's that's not enough. Exactly. Hey, Cameron. Cameron. Let's play the game. Start, start. <laughs> Penis. She even in. They were playing across the room, hey, too. Hey, you can. <laughs> I bet you she has it maybe in the 80s. <laughs> 1974. <laughs> okay. Guys, hit pause and pull those triangles out. Pull the triangles apart. Pull the triangles apart. Yeah. So, Go to like freaking here. So now pause it. I was getting a little bit ahead. Oh, I thought this moved, but it didn't. Alright, I think Cameron's winning right now. Yeah. I, I already said it. Say it again. Alright, ready? Penis. Cameron! She's right there. She's gonna hear me. She's gonna be serious. Pencil. Pencil. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm still laughing about when that happened. That's heck of funny. They're putting like a cross room like Dalton and. Was it Joe? <laughs> yeah, like Dalton and Joe are playing against like. There's Yoshida. Oh. I don't even know what she's doing right now. Any other class, she would get in trouble though. That's the thing. Shit. It's yet. Dude, I don't even get it. She's going too fast. Just go to the very end and just write down whatever she has written down. That's what I do with the notes. Yeah, dude, that's what I do on all my video notes. I, like, listen to music and, like, put it up, like, 30 seconds each time, so then, like, I just write down whatever she has written down. Which, uh, I used to just copy the picture that was on the... That thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just copy the picture when you watch the videos. Yeah, let's do that. She, she, she doesn't need to check. She doesn't need to check. Good. <laughs> oh, shoot. She's going. Wait, what? CPC. What is CPC? Freaking writing. I thought this was a fucking map. It's proof. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Let me catch up. Yeah, if you your finger are they equal? Are they equal? Yeah. 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 Y
This is hard. You may write a narrative, a two column or a web, whatever makes more sense to you. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it projects everything on the back. Dude, when you are done with the like three minutes ahead, it's <laughs> showing. <you. laughs> Did you get it all? What is she even Dude, we went to like the very end and it projected on the screen. <laughs> Everybody saw. <laughs> oh, I paused it. Just fast forward it. Huh? Fast forward it. Hey, well, what's the fast forward button? Like side? Oh, like that. <laughs> One more time. Alright. Whoa! Shucks. <laughs> okay, you have people's EG. Hope we don't have a test on this. No test on Wednesday. I mean, like, specifically on this stuff. It's in the study guide. Oh, shoot, we're almost done, huh? Yeah. Usually it's about that's too bombing. I know that because of the cousin. And usually I have about five or six. Oh shoot. No! Oh. <laughs> Where's the button? It's right there. Oh shoot, there it is. <laughs> Wait, what? There. There. <laughs> When you're done, return your team. Yes, ma'am. Give me a second. Did I actually?